Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to day nine of mm. the 12 days of Christmas. Yes. So All right. Let's, let's finish off day eight by... Let's do that. <laughs> if I didn't drop Asshole. my cigar. <laughs> All right, anyway. So let's do day eight. So we got we got some Drew Estate stuff, mm -hmm. some Espinosa stuff, some some beverage accessories in here, yeah. some wall art, pretty cool stuff. And that um, winner is <clears throat> ticket. No, I'm just kidding. Curtis Gum. Sweet. Congratulations, Curtis. Curtis Gum. He's he's been a regular yep. in almost every single day, just getting one ticket a day. So congratulations. Congratulations, Curtis. Curtis. All right. Mm. Um, mm. Now we need to do our the consolation, consolation prize. prize. Our consolation prize. Today um, it is an ESG cigar from Ashton. Estate Sun Grown. Very, very good cigar. A lot of aged tobacco and a small batch bottle of Four Roses with, of course, a t shirt and hat. And that goes to David Kakazur's. Oh. So he's won another, another consolation prize. prize. <laughs> <laughs> Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. <laughs> so anyway, so uh, what's in today's basket, Brian? Well, today's basket has um, a beautiful Tatawahe ashtray, mm -hmm. a couple of random hats, one of which is a Viaje hat, a Viaje shirt, and a bottle of Buffalo Trace and a, um, a cigar sleeve flask and cutter. Pretty cool stuff. What else is in here? Oh, this really cool um, like steampunk style uh, cigar cutter. Really neat. Scissors style cigar cutter. That's, that's All right. So what do they need to do? Pretty cool. You need to purchase $15 worth of Tatuaje or Viaje cigars today. Now, now y'all might have noticed that Viaje has been absent from the humidor for yes. uh, about two or three months. Um, has it been that long? We've, yeah, we've yeah. pulled in a lot of new cigars, and Viaje is one that that uh, you know when, when it hits hard, it hits hard and it goes. Otherwise, it just kind of lingers. But they're always really good cigars. Yeah. It's kind of weird that we don't have more folks that. Uh, that partake of them on a regular basis. True that. But today, we're bringing out all of the old backstock from mm -hmm. Viaje. We're gonna put it on the shelf, and we're gonna give you an opportunity to uh, sample some Viaje today. There's some stuff that has a lot of good age. Oh yeah. That'll be available today. So you might wanna take advantage of Viaje and Tatuaje. Dude, what are you smoking? Well, speaking of Tatuaje, <clears throat> I'm smoking the limited edition cigar from Tatuaje, part of their Atelier line. Um, this is called the uh, Racine ERB. Um, it has a uh, Criollo, so it's a solid Nicaraguan, but it's a Criollo wrapper and a Santis Spiritus uh, wrapper, and some of that is also in the filler. Um, is it a Criollo wrapper or it's a, a Criollo Santis wrapper. Spiritus wrapper? It's a it's a wrap, the binder, sorry, binder. Uh-huh. Oh, I need more coffee. Mm. So the binder is, is uh, uh, Sancti Espiritus. Um, but this is a very, very good cigar. Nice, easy, light, very woodsy, chocolatiness. Um, I really like it with that hint of pepper. Um, I have not retrohaled this at all this morning, um, but <clears throat> I think that if I did, it would probably burn just a little but it does have a really nice pepper in the background. So, dude, what are you smoking? So I am smoking the Hibaro from Tatawahe. Now, this was the number nine cigar with Cigar Aficionado for 2019. Um, but I'm gonna go back even further than that. So, you know, Pete Johnson has a, a close relationship with the My Father factory, Don Pepin. Don Pepin has a 
close relationship and some history with Aganorsa tobacco. So way back in the like the 2007 era, this cigar was originally manufactured for Pete Johnson by Don Pepin uh, with Aganorsa tobacco. Um, nowadays, it's made with 100% my father tobacco uh, for Pete Johnson. <clears throat> has a very small uh, shaggy foot, like a quarter inch shaggy foot. So it's just enough to kind of uh, give you that taste profile right in the beginning and then it mellows out into that, that wrapper leaf. Uh, Criollo uh, 99 uh, is the wrapper leaf. But again, this is a number nine cigar of the year back in 2009. It's beautiful and uh, you should pick one up today. Awesome. Okay. And on that note, remember, 13 days of Christmas is coming. Uh, the 13th day of 13th basket. 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 Basket, yes. Is More coming. coffee. Uh, so all tickets migrate into that 13th basket. Mm -hmm. We will be closing at 7 p.m. on Christmas Eve, Eve mm -hmm. and we will be closed on Christmas. Christmas if, Day. If, uh, if you find yourself short on a cigar, Robbie up at the Stogie Smoke Stop will be open on Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. I think he's the only lounge right. that's I think going to be open on Christmas Day. doing noon to 7. Day. Yeah. So it's still limited hours. So, yeah. so head consider, on up there. Consider that as an alternative if, short. if you find yourself in need of a place to go on Christmas Day. He's a good guy. Okay. Cool. I think that's about it. That's all I got. Guys, stay safe. Stay sane. And stay healthy. Salud. Salud.